right now at six. We, we were so disturbed and saddened by what happened. We felt we really needed to do something. Mixed reaction tonight to the nation's largest sporting goods store, which has apparently joined the campaign for more gun control. Dick Sporting Goods has voluntarily stopped selling some of its popular guns and barred some young people from buying any kind of weapon. Effective immediately, the store will no longer sell assault-style rifles, no longer sell firearms to anybody under 21 years of age, and no longer sell high-capacity magazines. The accused gunman in the Florida school shooting bought a shotgun from Dick's last year. The company CEO says it was not the gun, not the type of gun he used in the shooting, but it could have been. We're staunch supporters of the Second Amendment. I'm a gun owner myself, but we've just decided that based on what's happened and with these guns, we don't want to be a part of this story. Now, you might recall that Dick stopped selling assault weapons at its 715 sporting goods stores after the shooting at Sandy Hook Elementary School back in 2012. But the company continues selling them at its 35 field and stream stores until now. There are more than a dozen Dick Sporting Goods locations within 35 miles or so of the nation's capital. One is in D.C., but you know you can't buy any kind of gun in D.C. There are seven stores in Maryland, including Wheaton and Gaithersburg, five in Northern Virginia, including Springfield and Dulles. Do you agree with Dick's decision to sell only guns to, to not sell guns to people under 21 years of age. Log on now, WUSA9.com slash vote, or use our WUSA9 news app to let us know what you think. Yeah, Bruce, and we can see right now the reactions to this decision have ranged from calls for a boycott to high praise. And Scott Broom is in Frederick County, Maryland this evening, where customers are sharply divided. I found one shopper here at Dixon Frederick this afternoon who came in specifically to buy stuff she didn't really need. Yoga pants? <laughs> just to support the store. I am a customer of theirs, but I thought today was very important to show our support. I am not against people owning guns, but I am against people owning guns that can kill in a horrible way. I feel like it's just a political stance on their you know, part. But Frederick County is also strong Second Amendment country. Gun rights supporters said they are now thinking twice about spending at Dick's. It's eventually it's going to get to just full-blown them taking the guns away, period. You I mean, thinking twice about shopping there? Because of that and I bought guns before from Dick's, yeah. Thinking twice about it? Yeah. Dick's does not reveal how much of its business is in the gun category and it will still sell tamer firearms. But it's a store with a broad base of customers, soccer moms and kids. Unlike competitor Bass Pro Shops, which is firmly in the hooks and bullets category. Recently, that company sent out a promotional flyer featuring a trigger cranking device that can make one type of semi-auto 22 caliber rifle shoot more like a machine gun. Dick's is now on an opposite path. Interesting to note this afternoon that Dick's stock price actually ticked up just a little bit this afternoon, while the stocks of a couple of major gun manufacturers are down significantly. In Frederick County, Maryland, Scott Broom, WUSA 9. Dix is not the first company to get rid of assault rifles. Walmart banned them at its U.S. stores in 2015, saying there was lower demand for those weapons. As you can imagine, Dick's decision on gun sales is getting both support and opposition on social media tonight. Philip tweeted, I don't own a gun or plan to buy one, but I've bought a lot of other things from you, including a trampoline for my nephews. I don't like corporations who cave to PC-ness, uh, so I'm done buying anything at all from you. One of millions of Americans, to be sure. But Ed tweeted, same people screaming about protecting the Second Amendment are the same ones who are threatening to boycott Dick's sporting goods for exercising their First Amendment rights, their freedom of speech, and their constitutional rights to run their business as they choose. For their part, the NRA reacted to the Dick announcement, tweeting, Bans do nothing but infringe on the rights of law-abiding citizens. So we're asking you if you agree with this decision to sell guns to people 21 and older. And you can see the results there on your screen. 89% of you say yes, 11% say no. And you can still tell us what you think. You can vote on our website, WUSA9.com, or on the WUSA9 app.